Hi guys, welcome to another video at Moving Estates. This video is on when is it the right time to buy. We had another question on our Instagram poll on what is it like to be an estate agent or when is it the right time to buy and the viewers voted for this to be answered so here we go I'm gonna give it my best crack uh, it's a bit of a tough question I put forward but I wanted to answer these questions so in my experience from what I've been doing there's a few factors that I'm going to go into this pandemic is one of them which is you know obviously no one saw this coming but through that the stock market has plummeted and unemployment is soaring a uh, record high along with that you have the election coming up for uh, in america with trump and and co so all these factors and many more do contribute to the uk housing market and um, you wouldn't realize that but it actually does and there some people say there's a huge huge recession around the corner and some may even argue that we're already in a recession so i believe there is going to be a big big fall of a recession coming she was in back in 2008 when the recession happened what impact it caused in the property market and how much of the percent did the property prices go down in, in a negative in, in a negative form and you can see on this graph right now how badly they dipped down and you can see the uptrend as well how high they ended up after uh, we were out of the recession so the property cycle will restart and I believe it's timing when to buy at the bottom of the market and this is what I'm going to try and aim to explain in this video and explain when is the best time to buy and the things you need to look out for when buying a property. So one of the factors are the supplying in housing. If the demand goes down, then inevitably the price goes down. And if the demand goes up, the price goes up. But if the supply of the housing, which is ample, but there's no demand, hence there's going to be eventual price reductions happening. And I feel that's what's going to happen. In my time, I've seen a lot of sales go through, a lot of deals that are distressed. And if you're looking to invest in the, over the next 10 years, from now, going forward in the next 12 months, this is an ideal time to buy. Most successful buyers make their money when they buy. They buy at a good rate with all their calculations in place. So when they sell, they make a profit. But if they are really um, smart and have a good strategy, they don't have to sell. They'll simply remortgage and keep their asset and make a good return and build their portfolio. So it's very important when you buy, buy at a good rate. And you get two types of buyers in such recessions. You get the little reluctant buyers that are afraid and nervous and they don't do anything, they just sit and wait, and which may turn out to be a good thing or a bad thing depending on whatever situation unfolds. And they don't really want to pull the trigger which is understandable the second buyer is the one that overpays and panics and it's everything's about timing markets in general always do go down but then they go up with the uptrend so it's important you know you you buy at the right time it's important when you're buying your property you're looking at it as an investment you're looking at the pros and cons of that investment you're looking at what things you should consider when when you're buying this property so the few things that I'm going to highlight to you is very important when you are looking at a property. It's the condition, it's the age, it's the build, it's the size, it's the style, it's the location and the potential on that property. And finally, where is it local to the amenities, the schooling, that's very important for you know a lot of the buyers that I've been working with recently and generally speaking. So these top tips are the ones that you need to look out for and then you go out there and look at the last six months of inventory online what has sold in the quarter mile radius do not go out three four miles and start looking do not look at a detached property when yours is a terrace property or a bungalow or something like that look at a like for like comparable to get a good idea of what you're buying and is it a good price to buy at so guys, I'm not obviously a financial advisor, I'm an estate agent, but I work with some excellent financial advisors who I can put you in touch with. And uh, on the back of that, they will guide you very well in what to buy in regards of what you could afford up to. In regards to the interest rates as well, they've significantly gone down in history as probably the best you could probably are gonna get. So it's great an opportunity for you guys to go out there and purchase a property and have this interest rate um, reduction that was not gonna come in before but has come in now so banks are starting to lend a lot more recently in the last two three weeks from my previous videos the products are starting to come back on which is great 
But one more thing you need to also understand and remember is affordability. The banks more and more now are being more and more scrutiny on yourselves and first time buyers or investors are looking at what you can afford and what you can't go up to. And it's very important you guys look into this because prices of what you could have originally pre-COVID that you could afford, the banks are now looking back at that and saying, sorry, you, uh, you won't be able to afford this, we can only lend you this much. So that again would be an indicator to see that prices won't be so high as you would normally would see pre-COVID because banks are simply not lending and if banks are not lending how are people going to be able to buy so it's a knock-on effect so i feel with that if you guys are seeing where i'm coming from i believe the property market prices will begin to come down taxation is another key point at the moment we are lending at an alarming rate and in the future we are going to have to pay this back every taxpayer will have to pay something back a lot more than what we are taking right now so it's in your interest now to buy um, because the taxations are going to go up the pricing will obviously go up with the uptrend of the house house housing market so these things combined will go against you when you're looking to save money and actually put to aside and save up for a deposit so this is a very key point that i put forward to yourselves of why i think it's, in, it's it's important to capture and and get something in this market when you can right now in the coming months to a year rather than waiting two three years and then getting getting stung with with unexpected costs sellers need to be made aware as well when sellers actually do sell their property before and pre-covid the figures they were wanting and asking for are clearly not attainable at the moment in time due to the pandemic however if they do sell and decide to and when they do buy what they're looking at to purchase going forward in their next move that obviously has, has to come down in pricing as well so it's a cycle call it of some sort where it's a knock-on effect the property cycle must restart and will restart it's about pinpointing when does it go to the bottom and when does it start to go with an uptrend and usually i would say all of these things do occur i don't think we've hit, hit the rock bottom just yet prices prices i feel will drop significantly more and i feel once that does happen then you will see a stagnation before any kind of upward trend depending on what the chancellor puts forward as some sort of physical relief packages for the housing market that is the time where i would say go out in the next 12 months line your ducks up get your mortgage advisor on board get qualified for a mortgage and then be on the house hunt work with your estate agencies whoever they are and keep in their ear make sure you make those regular calls with them and they talk to you in order for you to build that relationship with them so they're thinking of you when the first property does come up and they give you a ring first so that's very important these key factors that i'm just saying to you on where the housing market may shift towards and where you can then capitalize from that if you need any further information on the topics that i've mentioned because there's quite a large array of topics i've put together and it's been quite difficult answering this to the my best ability because there's so many factors involving feel free to give me a call or dm me or email me the links are below as well as if you want to get in touch for any personal consultation regarding your property situation i'm more than happy to help and i look forward to bring you more content please do like and subscribe the channel and do share this video as much as you can that would be great and i'll definitely see you in the next video